It's time to lock and load. The beep has been removed from this video. And as always, this video is highly educational. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, it's a red back roundup video. The focus of this red back roundup is this spider lure here. We're in the first week of April. It's normally a time when it's the end of the spider season and sometimes it's a time when I go around and do a burn to control the red back spideys. I mowed the lawn yesterday and I noticed some grass caught up in what is a very, very fine web at the bottom of this lure. If I set up a torch behind the web going down to the ground, if I move the camera up and down, you may be able to see the very, very fine spider web, which I believe is redback spider. It's extremely fine. It's only for the fact some grass got caught up in it. I was able to start to see what's going on here. I'm pretty sure most people wouldn't even notice what's going on there. It's very, very small web. I'll take the torch away and I'll lift up the spider lure. These have been a little bit shy in getting spiders, but let's see who's up here. It's a bit of a tight one, this one. Okay, it's free. Let's take a look up inside very carefully. I can see some very, very messy web here, bits of grass and stuff caught up in it. And if I go up to the top of the lure, guess what I can see? Mrs. Maturing Redback Spider, isn't she a beauty? What is semi-curious to me is this lure here was a place where snails love to hang out. In fact, I can see a snail on the wall of this lure. It looks like it's trying to get out of here fast. And believe me, that's quite fast for a snail. I'm just going to come in and very carefully save Mr. or Mrs. Snail. I can tell you Mrs. Redback is going to have a slightly different fate. I'm going to swap out the lure here. I've actually got an empty lure right here ready to go. Bit tricky to put on, but something like that. And Mrs. Redback, you're coming with me for a bit of an experiment. Okay, I'm out the backyard and right in this spot here, there's a big ant colony living under there. We've had some really strange weather. That was fully explained in the previous Redback Pipe Spider video. We won't talk about that in detail, but it's a warm day and the ants are crazy. Very crazy. In fact, it's so crazy. Look at that poor snail there. Being completely attacked by those ants. That's just shocking to see. But hey, that's the way nature plays out. Nature's extremely cruel like this. But if they didn't do this, the ants would not survive. There was something I witnessed right up the end of the Redback Pipe Spider video, and it was a spider that got caught up with ants. A lot of people didn't see it because a lot of people don't watch the video. Let me open this up and let's reveal the ant colony. Okay, next, let's introduce the Redback Spider. Let's see how the Redback Spider deals with these ants. Might take a little while to play out. The ants have got to get into this vessel here. And I'm pretty sure that ants aren't going to mess around when they turn on something pretty wild to witness and I hope I can capture this okay well, the redback certainly knows it's not in Kansas anymore there are ants coming up to it and giving it a wake-up call I just noticed the ants have got something else there I've got no idea what, what that is it could be a worm or something uh, the snail is over that way somewhere and the redback spider well it's still in there but I'm not really seeing any grand action yet well there's a wide shot gives you more of a scope of what's going on here it is quite a peculiar day because it's quite warm uh we've had you know, I, look i explained it in the other video the sort of weirdo summer we had and uh, it's what i saw at the end of the pipe spider video that uh was just enthralling to watch because i've got a feeling the ants really are the the kings of the garden Redback's made a move to the side wall there. Crikey's if an ant has a sense that there's a lovely spider for a meal. I think it's going to be a very, very good night, sister. And she's moved down to the bottom again. I'm starting to get covered in ants myself. Maybe I'll become their meal. But there's still ants scurrying around like mad. And my theory on this is when it snaps, it's going to snap in a really hard and fast way. Okay, the redback is uh, up in the dark area, in the shadowy area there. Uh, a couple of ants came up and really gave it a nag. It's moving around quite wildly now. And I'm really uh, fighting to work out where she's moving to. She's all over the place. She's doing web-like mad. 
I don't think that's going to save you from the ants. Oh, she's on the outside. Oh, God, she's down in with the ants down there. Okay, I found her. Um, yep, she's out in the ground in front of where she was before. And let's just watch what the ants do from here on. Man, she's on the bolt. She's going back down into where the ant nest is. Bad move. Very bad move. There she is there. It has happened extremely fast. Look at this. The ants have taken that red back spider. This is just as I saw the other day with the spider that was caught up after I caught, or should I say dealt with, the pipe spider. Oh, I'm getting bitten by ants myself. I'm going to try and get some slow motion of this so we can see exactly what's going on in this study. Okay, hopefully recording some slow motion. We start to see in a more refined way and clearer way, hopefully the way the ants are moving, the way the ants are dealing with that redback spider, which as I've seen a couple of times now, once these spiders are out of their web and there's an ant colony nearby, it's always going to be a good night sister and a win for the ant colony. Fantastic meal for the ants. We like the ants in the garden, always. Okay, the ants are dragging the redback spider back to their nest, and I actually see something else going on down here. Look at this. The ants have grabbed, what is one of those things? Is it called an earwig or something? Crikey, these ants, apart from biting me everywhere, and it's, I'm almost starting to love it, these ants are crazy, completely crazy today. That earwig, whatever it is, it's fallen further down inside the ant colony there. It was sort of down there at the start. I dare say it's good night sister to it, it's never going to come back out alive. Ants always win, always. If you're wondering about Mrs. Redback, the ants, there they are, dragging her along. And they are going to do what they want to do with her. From here on, she has no command of the situation. The ants have got total control. Scary things, ants, especially when they work together like this. They can conquer the earth, I believe. Incredible to watch. Amazing little good guys of the garden. It hasn't taken very long at all for the ants to deal with the redback spider. And just along from that, I'm wondering whether that's a queen ant. That was the thing I saw earlier on. There was a stack of ants around it. There still are. And I'm thinking it's a queen. Oh, crockies, I've just seen another earwig fall into the hole here next to me. Do we need to see any more carnage, or have we had enough carnage for one video? Although I think the earwig is actually going to get out. It's got out, don't worry. Phew, okay, it's escaped. Uh, that's the fate of nature, you know, you can win some, you can lose some. But when you lose against ants, you rarely ever have a chance to come back. Once they've got hold of you, you're gone. You're a complete nut, a good night sister. There's a nice duo shot there of what's going on. I'm sure... Someone's going to tell me what's happening with that other pile of ants. And they're moving quite fast. So I'm actually quite surprised how fast they're moving along there. Almost doesn't need slow motion, does it? It's happening so quickly in front of camera. There's a bit of a wider shot uh, to try to just establish to you just the manicness that's been going on here. I've been totally and utterly kissed by ants. I'll call it kissed because they're not really bites. They're like little love kisses. You can certainly feel it. But after a while, you actually start to get used to it. And in fact, you start to enjoy it. Maybe I need to go and see someone about that, hey? Getting bitten by ants and enjoying it. And you thought I was going to use the flamethrower, didn't you? Well, there's far more effective ways to deal with spiders, I've learnt. And crikey, I hope we learned something in this video or else I get into a stack of trouble. In fact, was that a leg I just saw being ripped off? Maybe that leg thing's starting to happen now. Never mess with ants, I tell you, they are the most incredible killing machines in the backyard. I've got no idea where that earwig had got to. I hope it was an earwig. What I think was a queen ant, I think it's gone to ground. And the redback spider, it's still there. And if I put my finger in there, you'll see it. Okay, it's just there. And what we'll do now is like when we play with nature, we always like to put it back to how it was. And I'll very, very carefully and gently put this back so the ant colony can live on to another day. We love our ants. It's amazing to see how the very small black ants are able to tackle a much larger critter that's landed in their zone. 
And what they're doing is they're stopping the spider from being mobile, they're attacking the legs. But in seeing the way this happens, it's a great lesson in life about warfare, especially what's going on in the world as I make this video. Even if your army has only small weapons, but they all communicate and work in unison, they can take down just about anything. Maybe one thing the video doesn't express very well is the scale that we're dealing with here. We're dealing with the really small little black ants that will often be a pest in your house when there's a lot of rain, like we've had a lot of rain, we've had a lot of ants into the house. And this redback spider is a maturing female redback spider. It's still very small. But maybe the best thing is I've found this redback spider before it has become a breeder. And that's the point of doing a redback roundup. Going around, finding out where the immature spiders are, and dealing with them. Redback spiders often have their areas set up very close to where large ant colonies reside. Now I'm pretty sure if an ant colony decides to raid a spider nest, I think I know who's going to win. As we see in this video, as soon as a spider is away from its web environment, it's never going to win against the army of the ants. And to quell the trolls who would say, Oh, it doesn't happen in nature like this. Well, I did haplessly capture this up the end of the pipe spider video, and capturing that was purely by chance. It just happened right near where I was looking at another spider on the ground. And what's really remarkable is how fast this happened. It all happens within a minute. It wouldn't be much longer than that. And then in the next few minutes, the spider has each of its legs removed. It's incredible to witness. Ants truly are a very fearsome, yet very tiny critter of the garden. And as for the other manic ant action that was going on at the same time, I'm pretty sure that's a queen ant, because I'm able to go and look online and see what the queen ants look like, but I'm not sure whether it's being, number one, rescued, or number two, being attacked. Someone out there is going to explain what's going on here. One thing I do... Notice is that both the redback spider and the queen ant were going in the same direction. Well, we're going to finish on something a little bit different and we're going to take a look at the bees playing with the pumpkin vine. And this is going to address the trolls that come in and attack my video saying, Oh, but I learnt nothing in your video. Your videos is nothing but burning things up, showing deadly spiders, showing ants that kill everything in sight. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of seeing insects. I'm tired of seeing spiders. I'm tired of seeing ants. And you think you're an expert. Well, you're not. I learn nothing from your videos yet. I come along here. I see the title. I see the thumbnail. I know what I'm about to click on, but I still click on it and I still complain. Well, here... Here's something not to complain about. We're looking at bees in slow motion. But the trolls will never get to this part of the video because the troll's venom is just purely coming along, landing a stupid comment like I did with that silly voice, and then they buzz away. But trolls are trolls, and YouTube can't seem to ever control trolls, but as a YouTube producer, you're constantly dealing with trolls. I could talk about what the bees are doing here, but then again, that would be very sensitive for this extremely sensitive site. But without bees, and this is educational, you get no pumpkins. It's that simple, but I can't explain it because it's very, very edgy stuff. Enjoy the bees and stop complaining.